Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Thorium mod. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back yet again. Frozen Wasteland and blah blah blah, all that good stuff. I feel like I start my videos off the exact same way every single time. Like, I do the whole intro thing, and then I make some kind of commentary about the musical instrument that I'm holding, which is a boombox this time, some sick beats right here. I make a comment about it being cold or wintry and there's penguins and whatever. I don't know. I'm not an original person, okay? I don't have unique dialogue for the beginning of every episode, except for right now, because I don't remember if I've ever made a, an intro comprised entirely of me making a commentary about how I have difficulty making an intro. Actually, I have done that before. Anyway, let's just move right on into the business here, because we've got a lot of business to do today. Well, actually not really all that much. On the agenda for today on today's menu is one extra crispy Star Scouter, which I uh, so affectionately referred to as the Scar Scouter in the last episode, which I feel like he's definitely gonna be because I remember him being pretty painful to fight. Um, though I do remember the Granite Energy Storm being the harder of the two, and I definitely struggled more with the Buried Champion. So you know what, I could be wrong. We're gonna find out though. Um, more often than not, I am wrong, so I feel like it's a safe bet to assume that I will be. But before we head off to do all that business, there's a few things that I gotta mention. I'm gonna do a little bit of walk and talk. So the first thing that I'll mention is that it was recommended to me that I were to combine the Eye of the Storm, which I did manage to reforge to guarding. However, I am poor, so I can't really afford to get much better than that. The thing that we got from the Granite Energy Storm to basically allow me to cause energy to slowly sleep out and damage nearby enemies. Sparks almost like homing sparks. Think about like the Spectre Bolt, but like blue and sparkly. And to pair that with the Granite Boom Box. So evidently, it's uh, that's a really good combination. So we're gonna give that a try. It's an electronic weapon, so I don't have to worry about any kind of benefits or bonuses or anything from uh, this stuff here. So what I'm gonna do now is go over here and I need to finally speak to the spiritualist, Algalon down here. He has not drowned himself this time. He's nice and cozy in my little box down here. Hey, Algalon, how's it going? Miles often comes to me in private to discuss things that are bothering him. Such a young age to be in his position. Isn't he the angler? What is it exactly that he struggles with? I mean, he's probably not so happy that I put him in that little box over there, but I, I took some time out of my life to make that box. It's a nice box. Be a little bit more grateful. You could get a, a wooden square on the surface, left to your own devices. Oh, it's been a while, friend. It's good to see you are well after so long. It's good to see you haven't drowned yet. Anyways, what do you sell? You got some gauze here. You must be a healer class type person. Okay, great. Um, there's syringes, lesser life water. Fueled with life-giving properties, grants bonus life regen and max life. How much? On extra 20 health, and that lasts for a minute. Okay, well, so does the cooldown, so I get a little bit of extra life and less healing. There's always a trade-off with these things, but that's not bad. Um, Alter increases bonus healing when interacted with. I wonder if that works... How does this work here? Healing spells heal additional life. I wonder if that works for, like, self-healing stuff. That could be pretty handy eventually. I don't know. We'll leave that down there. Redeemer's Staff, 150 mana. Allows you to return recently respawned players to their death locations while in your inventory nearby players that die leave a lingering spirit. Channeling over the spirit for five seconds to return them to its location. Return players are sapped for 10 seconds. Well, that sounds pretty handy. Sentinel's Wand, heal all villagers around you. Defender's Wand, I can heal the Eternia Crystal. Well, now that's pretty handy. I, 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 I'm, I'm broke, I've spent all my money. Rich Leaf, summons a light infused goat to brighten your path. I think I vaguely remember that. But that looks like that's about it for Algalon. All right, some interesting stuff from him. I guess that's the spiritualist. Um, I don't know if there's like a, a bard NPC, but it seems like I've got one for every extra class. Like there's a thrower up there, there's Zora, which I swear to God had a different name. Am I crazy? Some of these people have different names than they used to. Maybe not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, and then there's him down there. That's for the healer class. So that's kind of interesting. A little bit of extra stuff there. All right, so now with that business done, I believe that's all I wanted to talk about. Just wanted to go check that guy out down there, see what he sells. I should have known better. I mean, I don't know what he would be selling. I mean, he's called the spiritualist. What's he gonna be selling? Cheeseburgers? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if he did. I'm sure there's some kind of holy cheeseburger out there. If you eat it, it makes you have a happy long life, I guess, I don't know. Moving on along here, let's go over to the meteorite biome, which is where we're taking our adventure to now because I need to get some items from whatever they're called over there. I don't know, UFOs or something like that to make this star caller that I can use to summon this star scouter up in the sky island violence up in the sky violence that's where we're going which i don't think i've actually been to yet except for like a really weird part right here and i don't really remember what i was doing but i went up there for some reason 
Did not find a Sky Island yet, so that's gonna be an adventure. We're gonna do that today. Go up there and see if there's any new mobs or new items or anything fun like that. And probably build a giant sky bridge. I don't really know what's gonna be good for uh, the Star Scouter, but whatever I use, I'll probably just end up recycling. Maybe, maybe for the Moon Lord? I'm not sure. Either way, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a big adventure. Let's keep activating my boom box, get those sick beats out there. Let's run past this monument to my eternal pain and suffering as a bard. Ugh, God. Getting flashbacks to that mess already. Anyways, we should be coming up on the meteorite soon. It's all the way over here. Yeah, it's like right at the ocean. My beach got absolutely pulverized by this thing. That's fine though, I can deal with that. Let's uh, very, very carefully here, land on this little piece of, uh, of sand. We'll vein mine it here. There we go. What are you, hag? Oh, there's an ocean hag. Get out of here. Get out of my business. There you go. Get flooded. Get drowned on. Ow. God, you hit very hard. Vanquish your metal. Um, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna need, but I can't destroy the, uh, the whole biome. That's the main thing. I need the UFOs to spawn in. Just gotta get a lot of it out of the way. There we go. There's one right there. UFO in the water. Aquatic UFO. Oh, there it is. Did it drop what I need? No, it didn't. Did that one drop what I need? No, it didn't. There's a shark. That's definitely not gonna drop what I need. Oh, I should have brought over some kind of a battle potion or something. That would have been the smart thing to do here. Nope, there's another one. Is that gonna drop what I need? Nope. Still not. You know, if it wasn't by the ocean, maybe I'd have a lot more success because I'm getting all these mobs over here now, and I really would prefer to not do that right now. I'm kind of trying to accomplish something here, make some progress, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it'd be better if I just stood right here, like practically dead center. Maybe I'll just go underneath. Actually, no, I can't. I'll just hook onto this right here. Oh, there it goes, it's trying to run away from me. Come back here, UFO. There it is, that's what we're looking for. Um, is this thing consumable? It is. So I'm gonna have to come back here for more whenever I inevitably get destroyed. You barely understand this complicated machinery. You're absolutely right. All right, let's head on back. I should be able to make enough meteorite bars to make this thing. I'll just put it all in there, why not? Um, where are we at here? Okay, there it is, Star Caller. One should take proper precautions before contacting the unknown. Sends out a signal into outer space, only usable high in the skylands. Okay, well there we go, we got the Star Caller. Before I go up there, I'm definitely gonna grab myself some potions because I know that this is gonna be painful. Um, I should have a bunch of stuff to make everything here, so it really shouldn't be a problem. A couple iron skins. Uh, I don't have anything else really that I could make. Frenzy potions, always a nice little thing to add to the collection there. I don't know, that looks like that's about it for me right now. I think I have some extra saved in reserves down here. I'll bring the endurance potion and earworm, why not? Okay, we're good to go. Now we just gotta get up there really high with a whole bunch of wood. Actually, I think I have a lot of boreal still. Where are we? There's a lot of you wood, a lot of me wood there. Um, Only a little bit, whatever. We'll make a little combination of both. Regular wood and boreal. Now I just gotta find me a sky island after I run into that penguin and absolutely obliterate it. I'm gonna need gravitation potions, I'm pretty sure, because I can fly, but not that high. Let's go up to the sky, see what we can find. Hopefully something somewhere close by would be really preferable. Ah, God. Well, there we go, wish granted. Not exactly what I was looking for. Actually, a sky lake would be fine. Just gotta deal with the uh, water situation here. Whatever. That works out just fine. Directly above my base, I'll take it. Um, I don't know if I still have... I can't remember. Take that off Vein Miner real fast. But I don't know if I have rope. I do have web rope. I have a lot of cobweb. We'll make rep... Reb. My god. We'll make web rope. For the first time in my life, I've actually made this stuff. I've never actually made it before. That'll be my way down. What in the world are you? You are a flashback to something that I did forever ago. Wind Elemental. There we go. Goodbye. Oh, wait, there's a harpy. There's always harpies up here. It's almost like this is where they live or something. Disgusting. See how far I can actually go down with this. I probably don't have enough to get all the way to the ground, but it's probably a good thing that I don't. Can I get close enough to at least be able to fly back up here? That'd be preferable. Let's see. Oh, absolutely not. There's no way. We'll make some adjustments to that business up there, and I will make my sky arena, and then we will give this guy a try and see what we can do about it. And maybe, potentially, possibly, depending on how long it takes me to get this guy down, I might go and explore the underworld a little bit. Probably not a lot of it. Maybe just enough down there to get the set. If the boss ends up being too hard, a lot of people have told me just to go grab the set from down there for the Hellstone, whatever. Let's make some adjustments to this base up here, and then... I will see you when I'm ready to take the guy down. That's what we'll do. Okay, this arena ought to be good enough up here. I mean, I got a couple of campfires around on the edges. Uh, I've got myself 
a few platforms to jump up and down and around on. It shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna give it a try. If push comes to shove, I'll just go back and get myself another one of these things. Alrighty, well, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, clear up my inventory a little bit over here, and I guess we will give the Star Scouter a try. Let's see how it goes. Don't fail me now, comments section, I believe in the power of the boom box. Let's do it. Oh, gotta be up a little higher. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, here he comes. Start firing down at him. Ah, God, okay. Hi there, you're rather fast, aren't ya? Okay, let's use my boombox shooty powers. Everything looks like it's okay here. Doing a good amount of damage to it. We'll keep hitting him with some of this stuff while my boombox does its thing. Oh God, what is that? Okay, I saw a little sword thing above it. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a way of letting me know what's about to be used, but it's not bad. Okay, I think that means it's about ready to fire a laser beam at my head. Gotta keep all my, my benefits buffs going here. God, don't want to get that to the face. That looks like it's probably a one-shot. Wouldn't surprise me. That, I think, was always what tripped me up before. I'm having a little bit of difficulty, though, staying away from the pain. Just got to keep moving. What else is new, though, to be honest with you? I'm always having difficulty staying away from the pain. It's doing a good bit of damage, though. What is that thing? Ah, that looks really unpleasant. Mm, don't want to fall down, either. That's a bad thing to do. There we go. Keep doing some good damage to it. It's not bad. It's almost dead. It's going down very quickly. Just got to not screw it up. Just don't screw it up. Oh, God. That looks like a thing that might make it tough to screw it up. Ah, God. Now we got rainbow laser beams. Oh, God, there's colors. Why are there colors? I don't like that one bit. Okay, fine. God, do I have to kill those things? Well, I, it appears as though I was successful. That's fine. I can heal. I just got to not do dumb stuff, and I think I'll be okay. You know what? We're just going to see how it goes. Nice little intermission phase. Ooh, okay, that was close. Speaking of close, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Come on, come on. Very, very close. Very close. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go, oh my. That was a little bit of an intense fight there. My God, okay. Let's see what we got from this guy. We got a hit scanner, it's a ranged weapon. Musket balls shot from this gun will have no travel time. What does that mean? Does it just appear on top of them? That's strange. Particle whip shoots a burst of lightning that will bounce to additional enemies. Um, I don't know exactly what's a whip about that, but sure, that's fine. Then we have the Omega Drive. Summons an offensive pet probe with limited range, 20 base damage. Oh, okay. So, it's a pet that does things. Okay. I like it. I do like the Angler's Bowl, though. Oh, that thing has a reforge, doesn't it? That's weird. Okay, I, you know what? Honestly, I never noticed that. All right, fine, we'll have a little mini UFO. That's fine with me, I can live with that. All righty, but where does that leave us off now? I guess that's just, uh, just the wall of flesh is left. Hmm, I don't know. Is it too early to do a little bit? Well, I guess it's not too early, but will I be able to do it in a short enough amount of time to not make this be a ridiculous episode to go down there and do some underworld exploration? There are a few things that I need to get. I do know that for sure. I need to go down into the underground and find myself a lava charm, and I need to get myself some ice skates from down here in the ice biome. So maybe I'll just do a little bit of that stuff. Maybe I'll come across something new. Is there anything new that these guys sell now? I should probably double check that. Anything new that the Star Scouter is that I wouldn't be surprised if a Martian NPC showed up now. We'll have to find that out later. All right, I'm gonna go down to the underground and see if there's anything interesting down there. Work my way towards the underworld, and I don't know. We'll just see what happens. I haven't really been recording for all that long, so. Just have to see what we do. If there is anything good from the Star Scouter for the Bard, I may end up going back there and getting it maybe off camera or something like that, but for now, we're gonna do a little bit of moseying on down here. There's a few items that I wanna get before I go into hard mode. I do know that for sure. I would say that I'm concerned about my, uh, what's it called, my crimson spreading a little bit too far, but we took care of that a very, very long time ago. Let's use the bat to transport myself. This is definitely the superior way to travel. Just looking for ice skates. Honestly, as many of these houses that I've opened up down here, and many of these chests, I, I think it would be easier if I just tried to get ice skates from fishing because I'm having zero luck with it. Ice skates and lava charms, no luck with that stuff today. Snowball cannon, still not what I'm looking for. That's fine, though. We'll keep moving on down the line here. There's gotta be something good somewhere. It's a big open area down here. There's a minecart rail. That usually leads to promising things. Hopefully it's a house, or a variety of houses would be good, too. I love that the uh, granite energy sparks actually go around and light the area up for me. That is so convenient. What a helping hand that is. There's gotta be something over here somewhere. You holding out on me, game? Oh, there it is. I just ran right over top of it like a dum-dum. Well... 
That's just typical, isn't it? Go on, come on down here, you're not sneaky. Oh, Enchanted Boomerang, my favorite. So it gave me a house, but it wasn't an ice biome house, even though this is... This is very clearly in the ice biome. Well, I mean... Actually, you know what? No, it's not. This is like the cutoff point right there. It's like one block down too far from being a part of that. Okay, that's disappointing. I'm very upset to see that. Fascinated, but upset. Oh, wait, coin portal, come back. That's a lot of monies. There we go. Pixelated fireball's not broke no more. Let's put that back in there. There we go, 47 monies. I love to see it. Enemies of Terraria, beware. When Pixelated Fireball has some gold, just give me about one reforge session with the goblin and it'll be gone again. I mean, beware. Oh, look, another minecart rail. Wonder if that'll lead me to nothing again. Lead me to nonsense. Don't need nonsense, I need sense. Literally, I'm broke. What else we got over here? Oh, another granite biome. Well, this is very bizarre. Okay, fine. We're moving on down the line, though, either way. Extractinator, what a valuable tool that'll be. This is a very strange-looking granite biome. Oh, whoopsie. I forgot that I had that set to vein miner. Let's take that off before that becomes a problem again. All right, let's see what we got down here. All of these granite biomes are so large. I don't know if this is, like, a mod-related thing, but I swear, I've gotten, like, little itty-bitty caves before. And this is just a massive opening down here. Okay, well, that's cool. Giant wide open space down there. Not bad. All right, moving on along. Let's take that night owl, why not? Hey, another coin portal. There we go, I'm getting a whole lot of stuff that I don't need, but what I am getting, not bad. Well, I guess I could always need gold. There's not really a circumstance that I can think of that would not be improved by having copious amounts of gold. Hmm, yes, monies. Keep a very deep pit over there. Could be a nice fishing area if I ever did that stuff crazy as that is. Let's go up this ways. See what we can find. Oh, look. The end. What a short minecart rail. It's not really all that much to that. You know, there is a situation that I've come across a few times in my experience playing Terraria, which is incredibly disappointing, and that is going around and exploring a cave, not really paying attention to where you're going necessarily, just kind of out doing your thing, when you realize, my god, look at all those life crystals, by the way. Too bad I don't need them anymore. There's a fourth one over here. I'd have loved to come across this area. Anyways, there's a situation that occurs where you're not really paying attention to where you're going. You're just kind of exploring, and whenever you're out and about, you come across your minecart rail. You hop on it. You're like, oh yeah, this is going to take me to somewhere amazing, and you find out that in reality, you're actually going to uh, a cave you've already explored to. You just didn't realize it, because like I said, you're not paying attention. You're riding the roller coaster, you know what I mean? It's so disappointing whenever that actually does happen. It happens to me all the time, I swear. I get myself all excited for nothing. You know, at the very least, it could give me a Spelunker potion or something so that I can see where I'm going. That'd just be too nice of them. Hey, look, gloomy maze. What we got here, Trapper. Didn't I get one of these things before? I think I did. I don't know, it's kind of a cool weapon, though. There's a hook. Never actually got one of these before. Are they valuable for anything? No, not really. Okay, good. Glad to know. Huh, look at that. Spider biome. You know, I don't think I've actually come across one of these things before yet. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, what is that thing? Hopping spider. Well, you're different. You're also dead. Oh my god, this is gonna be a slaughter fest down here. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, and I got half frozen. Oh wait, is that a, what is, is that what I think it is up there? Is that web stylist? Get out of my way, I gotta get it. Move, I gotta save her. I gotta save her. Pearl! Dawn's wig. Well, you don't really sell anything different, but I've rescued another NPC to throw into my frozen box. Yes. And what's got is a web slinger. Well, this is a very strange spider biome. I don't come across very many of them in the ice biome, I'm fairly certain. I think there was one in the, my Fargo's Let's Play whenever I was expanding down there, spawning arena or something like that. A little area down there to fight mobs in. Alrighty, well, uh, Pearl, um, good luck to you. See you later. Moving on about my business here. I'm looking for a very specific thing. Is this on Vein Miner? Oh, it is. Oh, wait, there we go. I'm flooding it. Okay, well, I didn't mean to do that, but that is what happened nonetheless. Very satisfying, though. Totally worth it, I think. All right, fine. You got me doing it. As thrilling as it is, whatever. You know, maybe there will be something good that comes from this. It's always nice to unwind and relax, you know what I mean? You know, you got to take some time out of your busy day of looking around for things, fighting bosses, farming enemies, getting new items, exploring new areas, and just making some progress. Every once in a while, it's good to just sit back and relax and just stop doing all that. Just go from riding on the roller coaster to abrupt stop and just sit there and take in the scenery. The beautiful, beautiful scenery.
Well, I've pretty much had absolutely no luck at all whatsoever collecting any of the things that I am looking for. I did get a lot of fish, but unfortunately I did not get any ice crates or ice skates or lava charms. And of course, I'm sure the reason for that is because I'm looking for them. So I'm sure I'll come across them at random when I'm just kind of exploring around down there. But whatever. What I wanted to do was get some frost spark boots here with the ice skates so I could make these firestorm boots eventually, which is the really far upgraded version. I just needed the ice skates for the frost spark boots, and I needed a lava charm for the lava waders, and I can't make either one of those, unfortunately. I've got a buggy. I don't really have any other kinds of bait, though, unfortunately. I ran through everything that I got from down there. I even tried to make myself a nice little fishing area. I had no luck at all whatsoever. But I think with that, it's going to end up being a little bit shorter of an episode today because I don't really want to go down to the Wall of Flesh because that in the Underworld is just one whole, like, real big episode there. It's like the dungeon. There's a lot to do when I get down there. And I'm sure Thorium only adds more. So I think I'm going to cut it off here, call it an episode right then and there. Made a good amount of progress there. Took down the Star Scouter and... Wasted a little bit of time in the caverns yet again, but whatever, it is what it is. It's the other half of Terraria. It can't be fun all the time. But yeah, I think I'm going to save the Wall of Flesh in the Underworld for the next episode, and that will be the end of hard mode, or pre-hard mode, I should say, and then we're going to be moving on to the next stuff. Look at that. I can already barely even scroll down to the bottom. You can see that right up there at the top. We're making some good progress for the halfway point. But anyways, yeah, I think, like I said, I'm going to call an episode here, guys. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.